Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're going to be exploring is GM Road to Nowhere. On oh, a road to nowhere, it truly is. Look how it just falls off. I think it's just a dip in the road, but... Wow, it really does look at first, until you get close, like it just falls off into darkness. At first I mistook those speed limit signs for, like, danger signs warning that it had fallen away or something. Oh, and look at those windmills up on the hill. Like silent giants staring down at us in the dark. Now, the story of this map, from what I understand, is that we were out driving in the British countryside. And on this dark and rainy night, it broke down on us, leaving us stranded in the middle of these dark fields. Although there is a town over there, which uh, perhaps we can explore... Actually, wait. Are those police lights? Well, it looks like there's smoke coming out of a chimney over there. Uh, hang on, we should maybe investigate the road in front of us first? Oh wait, we don't have stuff. Well, this is a really dark map. I hang on. Let me let me check the trunk. I hope I have a flashlight. All right. I had a look around in the trunk and thankfully I was able to find myself a flashlight. Uh I also found a Glock, uh which I'm not quite sure what the laws are on handgun ownership in the UK. Uh but I figure I'll just carry it into town and if anybody starts making a fuss, then we'll deal with it then. That's what they call waving a gun around in the UK, right? Making a fuss. Huh. And I have to say, right off the bat, A plus for atmosphere. Immediately determining my role in this map is something I like, as someone who's had their car break down in the middle of the countryside. And with rain like this, uh, in the immersion of VR, I actually kind of wish I could sit inside, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case, and I'm going to have to venture off. Now, it looks like there's some light over that way across the fields as well. I'm not quite sure how big this map is. I'm not sure where I should go first. Maybe over to those police lights. I mean, that seems like the best thing. Oh, and look, we can even see the fog illuminated in our car's headlights. Probably shouldn't leave it running like this, but... I guess we'll try and make our way into town? By road, preferably. That seems like it would be the best way to get some help, is to move towards civilization, right? Hark Island Road. There's a weird shape right here. Oh, those are trees over the streetlight. Oh, look at that! This is so atmospheric and pretty. I, I love these stone walls that you see everywhere. They're so old and yet so cozy. They remind me of the kids' cartoons I used to watch. Stuff like Little Bear. Now, I'm not sure if I started talking about this already, but uh, this has been one of the most requested maps for a really long time. And I actually did try to make a video on this months and months ago. However, unfortunately, it was performing really not so well. And it's not amazing now, but it's performing a lot better than it did before. It's a combination of I have a new CPU, and I believe the creator has made a lot of effort at optimizing it. Hmm. Well, the streetlights are on, but... No lights on in any of the windows. Where is everyone? Seems like a fairly normal street, though. Some kind of mansion with a gate. Smoke coming out of the chimney, which means there must be somebody here, right? Uh, can I get in? Am I important enough? Guess not. Yeah, I, even without the flashlight, I can't get in. 
We may have to revisit this later because it's the only sign of life we've seen so far. Well, except for those flashing lights. We should probably be making our way over there. Still yet to see anyone I can contact for help about the car. Oh, look at that pretty giant tree. I feel like I can hear something over here. Oh, it's this. Probably can't get inside, right? No. <sighs> Thought maybe I'd be finding someone. Okay, I didn't react to that with my voice as much as I did with my heart. Uh. But this right here, I turned around and I thought it was like some long, dangly-haired figure peering around the corner. This untouched street, completely devoid of life, even though the lights are on? I'm getting some strong cry of fear vibes from this. Uh, welcome to Blackmore. Situated in the west riding of Harkshire, Blackmore has had a varied and surprisingly interesting history, dating back to the Roman era. Evidence of Roman roads used for transporting goods by horse and cart are still visible to this day over the moors. Nowadays, most goods get transported on the M62. The moors are home to a variety of species of wildlife and birds. This is most notable during the nesting season. Please keep our moors tidy for future generations to enjoy. Oh, it's a map of the area. This is so cool. I really like this sort of train set vibe that this has because I know it said on the workshop page that the creator believes there's a sore lack of UK based maps and it's so cool to give it life with things like this something that you might find in a town that has you know all this history and character the constellation arms I don't know what kind of place that would be but with what little I know about the UK I'm assuming a bar Sorry, a pub. Can we enter any of these houses? That's the first thing I should be figuring out. Oh, look. Architecture. I'm an American, so I don't know what architecture looks like. That's something I really don't like about the U.S., is that, or at least my area is that everything just looks so cookie-cutter. I like old houses because, you know, they used to actually be designed and built, not just something made to absolute optimization in a factory and pre-cut somewhere. But we can't actually seem to enter any of these things. They don't seem to be 3D spaces. Oh, a church on our right. Maybe we can enter that? But we're also getting closer to the police lights, and I think we should go there first, because I think the sooner we get there, the sooner we can figure out what's going on. It looks like there's a little bit of distance yet, though, until we reach it. Oh, there's cars moving over there! Okay, uh, Twilight Zone welcomes careful drivers. I can sort of hear the sirens now, though. Let's get over there. road closed by the police. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Thursday, Thorpe. On the A666, uh, motorway, Swifton, Halifield, Alpha Centauri, four light years. What are we going to find when we get over this hill? Absolutely nothing. Well, traffic is still moving on the highway over there. And now that I look around, I'm actually seeing smoke coming out of a lot of chimneys, but still no evidence of people, not even lights on in windows. This is so weird. Breaking down in the middle of nowhere and then entering town to find no one and an abandoned police blockade up there... 
It's a different kind of thing. Like, I, I was thinking that maybe this would have shades of being like an apocalyptic map, almost like uh, GM Shambles. But that hasn't really been the case. Instead, it's a whole different kind of horror. The idea that there's some disaster currently ongoing, but through your ignorance, you've just kind of wandered into some place where everyone else has already fled. And you know now that there is some kind of danger, but you're still ignorant to what the danger actually is. It's like showing up at school and no one being there. You know you screwed up, but you're not quite sure how just yet. A uh, stonely reservoir, source of Parkshire's water. Uh, maybe we can find the answer here. Uh, I loves me some good infrastructure outside a small town. Cold water kills, bathing prohibited. The temperature of the water in winter and summer varies very little and is always below 12 Celsius. Immersion in water at this low temperature can cause hyperventilation, increased blood pressure, breathing difficulties, loss of coordination, and heart attacks. Undercurrents machinery. To ignore this advice may cause others to risk their lives trying to save you. Remember, cold water kills. Uh, blue-green algae blooms. This reservoir may develop blooms of potentially toxic algae, which can become con concentrated by the wind into scums and areas of turbid water. Although algae scum is not always harmful, please keep yourselves away from any green or blue scum at the water's edge, and the water close to it, and a sensible precaution against the possibility of contact with this material. Well, I doubt algae is the cause of whatever's going on here. Certainly not warranting a police blockade. I wonder if we can get into this little shack back here. Also, I find it really funny that I just discovered that I've potentially wandered in on a town evacuating emergency situation. And I'm kind of just being a tourist right now, just reading the signs like, hmm, that's so interesting, the ecology of this location. What's down here? Besides a set of unclipped stairs. That looks like a job for me. Never mind. Well, wait, hang on. There's some real weird sounds coming from in here. <laughs> you can't just set up this whole mystery of what's going on here and then not tell me. It's gotta have something to do with this, right? Seems like it all just goes down into a ditch. All right, I think we need to move back into town and see what we can see, because we've about exhausted our options here. Uh, unless we do want to take our chances with the cold water and algae and go bobbing for Easter eggs. I wonder if this will actually start to hurt me. Come on. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything down here. What a ripoff. Ugh. So this video so far has been largely dedicated to me reading the unimportant signs and not reading the very important ones that are critical to maintaining my health. I'm going to see this sign right here and then move back and check out that church. We've seen that already. Okay, church, what have you got in store for me? Huh. I've always loved church grounds. Spooky at night, but a very calm place nonetheless. one of the few places you can actually just kind of like hang around in public and nobody will kick you out. At least not most of the time. Can we get in? No. Wow, there's like no interiors on this map. Hang on. 
That's, that's something. That's something we've yet to see. Oh, it's just a fire burning in this backyard. But why? Somebody trying to get rid of something? Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like we can enter the house. Maybe the shed? No, that's not enterable either. Well, that's mighty suspicious. You know, in a situation like this, I just can't stop thinking about what I would do in this situation. Because I would not be able to decide between the absolute... I could swear I just saw a silhouette in that window. Like, a light flashed in the window or something and I saw the outline of a person. Am I just going nuts here? Was it like a weird LOD thing for me looking away for a second? Hair in front of my eye? I don't know. I was just gonna say, I would have such a hard time choosing between the joy of having an entire town all to myself and the creepiness of being alone in an empty town, all while there's presumably some kind of danger. Now I've started to slide a little bit more to the unnerved side of things. Ooh, a little playground. But no one here. I love stuff like this. I love having, like, little public things. I mean, we have a footpath right here. But off to the sides of that, things like playgrounds and overlooks. Just in the middle of a residential area. We have very, very little like that here. See, what's weird is that that one road into town over there is blocked off. But traffic is still moving both directions on the highway. So it's almost like people are being instructed to bypass this town in particular. I feel like anything you drop in here, by definition, is no longer litter. So that presents kind of a paradox. I feel like a robot would struggle with that bin. Maybe we could once again try... ...entering that estate? Hang on, where can we do that? That door gate wasn't working. But... ...perhaps we can hop this fence over here? Oh my god, it's John Cleese's house. John Cleese, I'm your biggest fan. Will you sign my Spamalot shirt? John. John, let me in. John, I'm your biggest fan. Why aren't you answering the door for a ravenous fan at 3 a.m. in the pouring rain? Anything around the back? No, nothing. Uh, the longer I go without answers, the more curious I become. Whatever's happening here, it even got John Cleese. Uh, now we're right back to where we came in. I have to say, this whole town is just absolutely beautifully detailed. It's just a regular suburban area, but every area feels unique. There's so many different paths you can take, and the architecture, everything looks different. There's no just, like, rows of identical houses or anything like that. The streets actually take twists and turns instead of just being a grid. Well, I'm not quite sure where this path leads. I've actually found myself walking out into the dirt. What is this? I can see what looks like it may be a fence over there, a row of trees, but it's so dark. Moving uphill now, what is this? Like some kind of field for farming? 
We're moving up parallel to the police barricade now. Maybe they haven't sealed off this? No. Invisible wall right at the edge of town. The only thing I can think to do now is to head down this road and see what these buildings are about. It seems like we've exhausted our opportunities in the main town center. Actually, now that we moved through the fog, it seems like there's more here than I would have thought. A couple of garages over there, and maybe some stores the other way. Can we open you? I already know the answer. No. Alright, over there it is. Every time a street sign passes in front of a light, I think it's the lone figure watching me. And if there's one thing I learned from media, it's that whenever you're walking confused through an abandoned town, you'll always encounter a lone figure who will either try to kill you, or exposit what's happening here in your place in the universe. Honestly, I'm pretty averse to either one happening right now. Ooh, an alleyway. But we can't open these gates. The store is closed. Uh, there's a 3D handle. But still... No, no, no! Uh... It was the other guy. I'm sure you can find some other guy. Yeesh. Oh, a bus stop. I would- wait! Why is it- I came in here- I came in here because I thought, oh, I would be so happy just to stand under something solid in this rainstorm. But it seems like the creator picked up on the idea that people would want to do it, but didn't want to make the rest of the map too distracting. And so for some reason, it becomes a torrential downpour when you stand inside the bus stop in particular. I have to say, it is actually real atmospheric. It's just, uh, it's doing kind of the opposite of the stated purpose when it's so much louder when you're in there. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's rust on the sign. Warning, no cat's eyes. No cat's eyes? What does that mean? Is that like an actual name for something? Or is that something meant to be ominous on this map? Because that's what it is for me. Oh! Doors do open! Onto the only two bathrooms in town. No wonder there's always such a line and there needs to be a bus stop right here. Nothing much here, though. I'm willing to bet that those lights we're seeing over there... Oh, no. I was gonna say I think that's my car, but it's not, because it just changed to green. Wait, before we move on, I'm gonna have a look around the back of this place. Ah, oh, that alarm is really still going. That is so irritating. I mean, I guess that's kind of the point. Now this feels like a place where I'd be trapped. Where I might stroll to the end. There's a soccer ball right there. Oh, with the face punch logo on it. Which leads back into the alley. If this were a cry of fear, a scare would definitely be taking place after we pick up some quest item right here. Just brings us back around to this field on the side. Oh, you open? With the most terrifying sound for a wooden half-gate ever.
Well, let's, uh, let's just start exploring the road, I guess. But look, if we're gonna wander the British countryside, we've gotta do it right. I don't wanna just be meandering through the fields waiting for some farmer to ask me what I'm doing so far from home. No, I want people to see me in the distance and create legends about me. And there's only one proper way to do that. There, now we're doing this right. A flashlight, that's not scary, but imagine looking out into the dark fields at night and just seeing a lone lantern floating through. That's the kind of thing that inspires legends. And that's like 50% of what I try to do in my day-to-day -day life, is to be... a story that somebody else tells. A random encounter on the road, just something to make life more interesting. At least I try to do that when exploring. More rust, I hope. Uh, major gas works start January 4th, 2022, or April 1st. Uh, for infinite weeks, sorry for any inconvenience, yeah. No, I guess some things are the same everywhere. Doesn't look like we can jump down to access any subterranean areas, though. Uh, which might be a first for me. That's such a common thing on maps for me. Seems like pretty much everything has to have an underground. Oh, wait. I think this is that light that I saw in the distance before. Aw, oh, please, you're my last hope. There has to be someone home. Looks like a little booth over there as well. Hey, uh, don't mind the soggy guy with the lantern wandering in from out of the pitch black fields. Uh, can you help me? No, I didn't think so. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess they're not welcome here, considering... Uh, by the look of that green goop, either you impaled one on it, or... You've been using it as a paddle for your canoe in the algae-infested reservoir. No, nothing back here either. What about down in this here pit? Think. Once again, is that a real thing that you might find on a sign in the UK? Because that's real ominous. Yeah, see? It's just a line of ominous signs over and over again. It seems like this just loops back around to where we were. Oh, wait. A drainage pipe? Thank you for being full. I was really dreading going draining by lantern light. But this brings us right back around to where we branched off before. Long time no see, bus stop. This thing looks like it's open for business, like somebody just ditched. Uh, I could actually go for quite a lot of this. You know, this is actually a pretty nice roadside spot. If it were a sunny day out, I actually wouldn't mind sitting here at these benches, just having a bite to eat while watching the traffic go by. I think I've seen just about everything this map has at this point, and still not gotten any answers as to what's actually meant to be going on here. But I will say, it is wonderfully atmospheric. Hmm, there's a parking area, but with one lone beat-up car! Okay. Woo. Okay, you had to have one jump scare somewhere. Jeez. Couldn't have one map pass without that happening, even if it is just meant to be atmospheric. I was just commenting on how beat up it was, and it was like, oh, beat up, am I? I'll show you I still work. Now, what's up here? Hmm. 
Nothing much, it looks like. Yeah, I can already tell this would be my hangout spot. Maybe not during the rain, but just a nice quiet place to sneak off where there are a regular amount of activity. And just kind of hide out and read amongst the trees. And whatever little animal buddies are living in the trees. I don't know what that sound is. To be honest, it sounds like nothing I've ever heard, but it sounds adorable. Oh, hey, I just realized it's a stained glass image of the Lord and Savior himself. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe this is during the events of Half-Life 1. I gotta go save him. Live up to my family name and face full-life consequences. But yeah, I'm just kind of walking around trying to figure out if there's anything I missed. I've done a little bit of no-clipping and I don't think there's anything else. So, I think for now, I'm gonna end it here. Although, if there is anything I've missed, definitely let me know in the comments, because I am beyond curious at what's actually going on here. This could very easily have just been an atmospheric map, and it is a gorgeous-looking map that is so relaxing to just walk around in. But what makes it creepy and comfy... It's not just how deserted the streets are, it's the added element of knowing that there's something going on here, but not giving us the satisfaction of knowing what. It, it makes me feel like there's some kind of danger that I'm just completely oblivious to. I've also really enjoyed exploring all these little side paths, walking up and down these, like, twisting and curving roads that connect this town in all different strange ways. It's weird, it's like it's almost making me nostalgic for something I've never experienced myself. Like, it just seems like it would be such a close-knit little community. And I can imagine being a kid and finding this whole town so walkable, which is something that I've, like, never really experienced. It's the kind of thing where I could just imagine people, like, making memories here. And, you know, there's all these signs around that, you know, add this little information and give it so much character. Actually, now that I think about it, that might even be another factor. Because whenever I describe Creepy and Comfy, one of my go-to examples is a dark rainy night after school or work, and you just kind of bundle up and sit down in front of the computer and read some creepypastas. And a big element of that is safety. And so when you take the image of this cozy little town and set it on a dark stormy night, potentially with some kind of event going on, it adds creepy to the comfy of the perceived safety of this place. It's the middle of a black expanse of these fields. It's almost like you're attracted here from out of the void that you found yourself in, into a world that isn't the one you left when you started your drive. I'm actually amazed at how much I found to talk about here. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.